All right, my template's complete. Let's do a quick, um, well, at least version one. Let's read through the uh, features. We've got interactable objects, a variety of things in the world to interact with, um, a variety of combat systems uh, that includes some GUI elements as well. Ragdoll deaths and perfect parrying, perfect dodging. Well, there's no perfect dodge, but there's perfect parry. Uh, enemy pathfinding with some basic enemy states. Uh, a variety of weapons and gear you can swip, swap between on your uh, primary hand and your secondary hand. Uh, we've got ladder movement, and if uh, you fall from too high of a height, there are hard, hard falls. Um, sprinting, if you hold down that dodge button, you'll sprint. Uh, lockable doors that can be unlocked by a switch. The switch simply flips a boolean. Targeting between multiple enemies, easily adjusted when you move left or right, it'll swap between the enemies on the left or on the right. Um, consumable items like potions and fire bombs, just simple grenades. Um, opening chests. And of course the classic death and respawn of the Souls games. I tried to make everything based on signals, uh, and a lot of the signals are controlled just directly in the nodes. You can tell it what node's going to send the signal and what signal to expect. Uh, I made a massive animation library, probably like 40 animations or something, which will retarget to any standard skeleton uh, model. Um, I built all the animation trees to be talk toable in code very loosely, so like the animations are directly tied to the uh, collision shapes and things like that so you can swap in your models entirely um, and they'll inherit all these animations and all this logic and you can immediately start prototyping with your character rather than mine um, i included all the sound effects in here as well um, i did provide two models a male and a female they are generic low poly ones as you saw the, the two characters running about i tried to keep them generic enough with their textures that you can easily swap out you know for different types of characters just to prototype your idea generally and get going quick. Um, a few removable items and features as well. Quick what it is and what it isn't. This is not a perfect game. It is not a perfect uh, third person controller. There is no perfect third person controller. The perfect one is the perfect one for your game that you've adjusted and that you've made work for what you need it to work. Um, this has a really basic stuff, some crude inventory things that aren't meant to be used long term but are meant to give sort of ideas and to help you build the game that you want to build. Um, my intent was to make a simple prototype that showed a variety of different coding things so that you can uh, learn from it and, and expand and, and make your own stuff. Um, there's a lot that's bad practice that I would not recommend doing, and I'll talk about some of those in, in future videos, um, but that I did here just to simply make it as universal as possible. Um, this is the accumulation of maybe a year's worth of coding and game jamming experimentation. Um, these are systems that I like, uh, and hopefully you like them too. So. I'll find a method for you guys to donate if you feel like donating for me um, or supporting me. Uh, obviously my music is Bones in the Walls, that's something that's important to me. And I do have an itch.io page for my tools, plugins, and games that I make. So feel free to contribute in either one of those directions. Um, but know that I'm not a YouTuber, and so I don't really care about the success of this, of you subscribing here and following here. Uh, that, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm a coder and a musician, so that's where, uh, that's where my values lie. All right, thanks all. Thanks for your patience.